Okay, so last week you should have created your two Picasso faces. They didn't need to be two identical, you just needed to make sure you've done two on paper and coloured it in, then stuck it to cardboard and cut it out so it ended up looking like this. This week I'm going to show you the next steps. So, I've got my two here. Now I haven't coloured mine. You should have coloured yours. But what I'm going to do is turn them both over and I'm just going to draw the faces on the back first. If you want to stick paper on it and spend time colouring it in, that's fine. But you don't have to. You could just go straight onto your cardboard now using a marker pen or any kind of pen. Okay, so I've now got my first drawing and I've drawn on the back. So yours should be the one that you did on paper and coloured in on this side and then the one that you've drawn in marker on the back. And the same with this one, you should have the one that you did on paper and coloured in on this side and then when you turn it over, you've just got your pen one on the back. So I'm going to show you the next steps. Okay, so with my scissors, I'm going to cut in the middle and up about halfway this one. Like this. Then I'm going to put that one down and pick this one up. Now with this one I'm not going to cut from the bottom, I'm going to cut from the top. So I'm going to cut in the middle and about halfway down. So I've now got one that's been cut here at the top and one that's been cut here in the middle because now I'm going to put the one that's been cut at the bottom and slide it in to the one that's been cut at the top. like so. And this is why I coloured on the back. So yours will look even more effective because you'll have half coloured and half black and cardboard. So it starts to look like a 3D sculpture. Then I'm going to get my roll. So you can use kitchen roll or you can use a toilet roll. Kitchen roll might be nice because it's a little bit longer but I'm going to use a kitchen roll for mine and I'm going to make one, two, three, four. So I'm going to make four cuts. So it's like quarters. So I'm going to do a cut here, a cut here, a cut here, and a cut here. And then I'm going to thread my sculpture into the cut. like so. Now mine is just blank but I am going to add some decorations to it with my pen. The best way to decorate yours is with colour or with paint to make it look even more Picasso. Then when you have decorated your stand you need a separate square of card and you're going to glue this onto your card so that you end up with a freestanding sculpture. Okay, so I've now got my finished piece. So I've decorated both sides of my faces, I've decorated my tube, and I've now stuck it to the base and I've called mine Four Faces by Miss Haig. Now yours should look even better because yours should have been made a little bit slower, mine was a little bit more rushed and I should be able to see lots of different colours on yours. I will also put some examples on the Padlet for you for ideas of how you could paint yours but you'll be left with your very own Picasso sculpture.